Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update. So this time out we actually have the first, I suppose the first proper Avatar Studios update that we've uh, had more or less since the announcement. Yes, we've seen little comments here and there, uh, the interview that Mike and Brian did on the podcast and stuff like that, but there was nothing I think inherently new stated in any of those um, you know, statements. This time though, it's kind of something substantial, at least something that's worth talking about. So, uh, discussing film on Twitter here, linked this article here from Viacom CBS, so super official. The upcoming Avatar Last Airbender films will use CG animation. So, if we open up uh, this article, we can see it is uh, Brian Robbins on prioritizing kids and family content across platforms. Um, so, Brian Robbins is, of course, the president and CEO of Nickelodeon and Chief Content Officer for Kids and Family on Paramount+. Plus. So this is the high up guy who's basically sort of brought, you know, Mike and Brian back on for Avatar, has put the business um, kind of uh, backing behind Mike and Brian for Avatar Studios. Um, we don't need to, I think, go through the whole thing necessarily here, but you can see here, you know, they're talking about franchise building, there's going to be a TMNT film uh, produced by Seth Rogen and the planned expansion of the Avatar universe. The idea is to leverage that IP and those franchises to drive consumption on Paramount Plus for kids and families. Um, so, you know, a lot of business stuff, of course, that they're making this content to ultimately make Paramount Plus, the streaming platform, a success. So here's all of this stuff here. You know, they talk about streaming and so on. Um, we're really only here to talk about Avatar though, so let's get to the Avatar stuff here. So they mention it in this question, so the question is, uh, you have an ambitious film slate across theatrical and streaming, can you talk a little bit about kids and family movie strategy on Paramount Plus and how it fits into Viacom CBS's overall movie strategy? In my previous role, before I came to Nick, I was running Paramount Players at Paramount Pictures, um, wanted to make uh, branded films, Nickelodeon was the top priority, the first that came to mind was the Dora the Explorer movie, um, we're doing TMNT, um, we have to deliver the quality and we're excited about Turtles as a franchise in general. And one of the other big projects that we're working on, on the theatrical front, is Avatar. We've signed a deal to bring the original creators of Avatar back into the studios. They've started Avatar Studios and they're well on their way in development on a series of CG films and a new Avatar series. So. The potentially maybe negative news about CG films, that's not what we're used to in Avatar. We're used to traditional animation that maybe utilizes CG for certain complicated shots like the Colossus or, or stuff like that. Um, but this is getting across the idea that their plan is that these movies are going to be CG. But it's also, I think, a good thing that CG films and then and a new Avatar series. The specificity on the series to me means that the series is definitely probably going to be more of the traditional Avatar uh, animation style uh, and there won't be the worry about uh, CG stuff. Now this is really interesting to me because this probably makes a lot of sense from a sort of marketing perspective in terms of trying to get Avatar out to maybe more people. We know Avatar is popular, but you'll note that you don't see a lot of traditionally animated series come out in the, in the theaters anymore. Uh, the biggest example of that is that, you know, Disney switching from most of their films being traditional to being CG, which is what Pixar was doing, and CG has been sort of the dominant kind of format for a lot of the kind of more kids-focused um, movies. Um, it's a little disappointing that it feels like they're leaning into something and that Avatar probably would have the sort of, you know, popularity behind it for a traditionally animated um, movie to work, but, um, you know, the, we haven't seen any of it, so this could actually work reasonably well. Um, we're obviously not used to seeing full CG for Avatar, but CG is getting better and better, and it could create a very interesting look for Avatar, certainly. Um, 
it's going to mean that like they can probably do like certain like, certain like effects like really really impressively um and there's obviously like pluses and minuses to each each art style so it'll maybe be easier for, the, for them to do certain things with avatar in cg but it'll be harder to do maybe other stuff in that martial arts movements for the most part you'd think that could be a bit difficult to get right where cg is maybe typically viewed as being a little bit more sort of clunky but we've had pretty strong shows with regards to animation in the last few years like they mentioned tmnt tmnt 2012 was cg and was pretty good on the uh, animation front uh, with some pretty kind of nice and smooth animation so i'm not actually too worried that it's uh, cg for the films um what it does mean though is that it probably changes how we need to maybe look at the films um in that okay does that mean that like are they going to go full on like it's still an atla movie it's just now in cg or because it's cg and very different is the movie going to be a completely different story something new and the fact that it's like a series of films as well now does that just mean there will be multiple films or no there'll be a a movie there will then be a sequel to that movie and another sequel to that that's interesting to consider this is definitely the first time that's been like you know stated like that and not just that the first project is a movie and then they mentioned later on that there would be movies plural uh, as long with series spin-offs one shots and stuff like that um uh and so on yeah so <laughs> it's an interesting one uh for sure uh yeah um a young adult space um so yeah they're, they're just talking about it they're not really linking that to avatar as such uh, you talked about being, bringing the creators of Avatar back for more projects. How's your team attracting talent? Um, Nick is a place people want to work. Um, Ramsey Naito, who's been mentioned before, president of Nick Animation. She's just someone who's really in love with animation. Um, hmm. So he doesn't he just really answered the question there to a degree, but uh, it seems like they're they really want to attract people who like the franchises that they're going to be doing. So that's definitely a decent thing. But yeah, just you know these this these line or two here basically is the the core of this announcement here. Um, definitely interesting to consider. Um, I'm not immediately sure as to what the reaction is going to be. I haven't really seen much of a reaction so far because I think I caught this within the first, you know, relatively, you know, first few minutes of it being live. So I haven't really seen anyone really talk about it. Um, I wouldn't immediately view this as being like, oh no, it's going wrong already. Just because we've heard this and we haven't seen anything yet. I understand the whole, oh, they're turning it into CG, that means we're going to go down this path, which this we've seen the examples of on this front. Um, but it's definitely a case of we need to now wait and see. I understand that there's probably going to be a bit of skepticism about this, of like, no, 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 no. Um, and I definitely understand that. But at the very least, this separation here, to me means okay films will probably be in cg and series will probably be in traditional animation and i'm guessing they'll do sort of um short form content in probably you know different art styles as well because this is where you have to bring in the other stuff that they actually talked about before which was that like i think on the podcast they mentioned that they are trying to with these different projects uh, Brian mentioned it's like a multi-tiered layered approach it's like an octopus basically the way it branches out that they are planning the different projects to sort of appeal to kind of different audiences so you know the the movie might be maybe aimed more at kids um, and have that CG really appealing style but then the series is more for the I suppose typical audience for Avatar um, where it's appealing to fans of ATLA, it's appealing to fans of uh, Korra and um, that sort of thing. 
again, th this is where us not knowing about the full scope of what they're working on means that like it's it's hard to fully speculate on where if they had also mentioned that they're working on sort of a, a YouTube series, like a, a series of some short animations that will mainly go up on YouTube, then we'd probably get a sense for like, okay, they're probably going to be more cartoony, Republic City Hustle-like, um, and we, we know where to go from there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an update. It's not much of an update. Um, you know, they started Avatar Studios. It is nice to know they're well on their way in development, so an announcement could theoretically be possible. The fact that they're confirming it's CG for the movies, and they've said before a a movie, a theatrical movie, is the first project, is something where, like, at this stage, like, would it be a problem for them at, like, say, New York Comic Con coming up uh, next month? to just announce like here's the movie we're looking on here's sort of a poster that features the character or main two three characters in their cg forms show us like is it atla is it cora is it something new is it an era we're familiar with new characters just something to kind of kind of wrap our heads around so we have a little bit more of a a concept of what's going on because like they know they've got something in avatar and uh, simply just looking at the success of the kickstarter campaign i think highlights that they have made an amazing decision to bring avatar back because if something like uh, avatar role-playing game which is effectively as a product a book can make 9.35 million dollars in a month when the sort of new avatar content in this book is rather minimal and i wouldn't and i definitely would say a large part of this is just the avatar ip more so than the game is going to be so good that it that's where it's got the 9 million from um you know, there's, it says there's two hours to go by my count. Yeah, like what, two and a half hours to go. And we're at uh, 9.38. It is now number 10 on Kickstarter. Um, I think it will have to make pretty much a million more to hit the number, like, you know, number eight or nine spot. Because the, the thing that's going on at the moment, I think, with this just is that um, it's number 10 here. This one is ongoing and it's got 10 days to go. So the the idea, I think, will be that this will beat Avatar, but it's obviously a big product. Um, so, you know, will it beat the Pebble watch, which made 10.2? I'm not sure if it will quite have the legs to get this far. It'll all depend on the last couple of minutes, I think, on just how far it gets. But uh, I, I, I'm guessing probably 9.5, somewhere in the region of just over that, it'll probably make. So, you know, just that alone highlights the incredible interest that there is in Avatar. And just stuff like it's taken this long for us to actually get something new. And it literally is basically two sentences. Um, it speaks to sort of a, the frustration that surrounds a lot of this and that we need news kind of sooner rather than later in that, sure, you have people, but how long are you going to keep people just in the dark on this before you actually say something? Um, I get it. This is just an avatar mention in the middle of a lot of other stuff. Um, but, you know, again, it highlights that it's a relatively brief sort of article um, and... I'm guessing uh, he blows a condenser. So I, I'm get. I might have to watch this to see if 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 it's mentioned. Sort of. Okay. So he didn't really mention it there. Like it says, it's a condensed version of the chat. Uh, that looks like it's just some clips from it. Um, they mentioned Avatar there. Basically, it was just part of the quote that's actually down here. Um, so that's that. Um. Just highlighting that there is movies and and the fact that avatar like i said is mentioned among one of the first among so many franchises that they have uh when it comes to kids they view it as being one of their big things and they're going it seems like they're going all in on it and they're treating it as being sort of 
something to talk about alongside you know these uh, other properties so that is good um, and we'll see where we go from here so in the comments let me know what your thoughts are the movies are going to be cg it's going to be a series of movies um we don't know any of the details about it beyond that but that they will be cg and that they're talking about the avatar series separately i suppose it is technical confirmation that like from his perspective looking in on what the studio is doing the main things that they're working on right now are this series of CG movies and a new Avatar series, which I'm guessing is the third equivalent for an ATLA, Korra, and then this as a series, the uh, sort of third era of Avatar. So that is sort of good to know that it also does, you know, technically can confirm that I guess the second project is Avatar, uh, is, is a an Avatar kind of main series, I guess. So uh, yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but that has been the video. Thanks for watching and bye.